So this week's project is burrowing owls. Temperamental little suckers. So guys, if you don't know, burrowing owls are tiny little, I don't know, 12, 16 inch little owls that um, burrow in holes like this. And I'm out here in the high deserts of Boise, Idaho. I'm about, oh goodness, maybe 25 minutes outside of uh, the Boise city limits. And as you can see behind me, there are thousands of these burrowing spots that these burrowing owls just take over. So they typically don't dig the holes, but what they do is they commandeer them from things like ground squirrels um, or even badgers. We see badgers out here sometimes. Uh, but on any given April or May uh, evening, you can come out and see a pair, a mating pair sitting on the side of the road. And surprisingly, um, you know, I'm sure there's plenty of them out in the desert, but um, you can see them pretty close uh, to the side of the road, which is wonderful. So that's what I'll be doing this week, guys. This week is all about the burrowing owls. I just spent uh, the first night with them and I'm gonna spend a few more nights and hopefully by midweek, we'll have something for you guys and uh, you can enjoy and see the things that I'm getting to experience out here. Uh, so stay tuned for some burrowing owls. Well guys, the sun has dipped below the mountains and I'm now alone again in the deserts of Idaho. And I just finished photographing the burrowing owl and it was one hell of an experience. guys, I'm back again photographing the great gray owl. No, I'm not. It's the burrowing owl. There's no great gray owls out here. Uh, it's windy, and something I see already is that they're very much hunkered down. I just see some peeking 
out the hole, so I don't know how this is going to go. I learned some stuff last night, and I'll tell you about that in just a minute. So I'm going to do my best attempt to walk up slow and be sneaky. But typically what he does is he sees me and he flies off. I get nice and low and I sit back in my spot and he and she eventually come back. So last night I was cussing my camera because I thought the autofocus sucked. And about towards the end of the night, it just all started clicking in my head what I was doing wrong. And I'm telling you, I started nailing shots just left and right. And I realized, you know, Nikon autofocus doesn't suck. I suck. It's like I'm not using it properly. Now I know what you guys are thinking. You're like, first of all, there's too much wind. You need to figure out a way to do your sound better. But I'm a Nikon fanboy excuse guy. I'm just saying it is hard for me to justify to spend another two or three thousand dollars to get something that focuses a little bit better. I, I know, yeah, look, eye tracking, all this kind of good stuff, I get it. Um, I just don't see, I just don't see it to be worth it yet, guys. And I know once I try it, I'm going to be sold and it's all going to change, but, and he just flew off. Well, guys, I have sat on that owl for too long. I could just tell he was uncomfortable, you know, the wind's blowing and it's cold. I mean, it's 42 degrees, but the wind's blowing like 15 to 20 miles an hour, little gusts. The dust is stirring up out here off and on. They're not interested in being photographed. And I'm going to be honest, I'm not interested in sitting out there with them right now. It was just, it was just miserable. Um, so I'm riding around and I know we're six or seven other burrowing owl holes are and every one of them uh every single one of them have been uh just you know little eyes peeking out nobody moving they're all just hunkered down so i did see a badger didn't get a chance to photograph him because he darted away just as quick as i could uh as quick as i could get my camera out but that's who makes all those holes out there i mean there are thousands and thousands of holes dug and it is just ridiculous the amount of damage these badgers and squirrels can do but it makes for good burrowing owl homes and places to make babies so i don't mind it one bit i'm gonna joyride a little bit see what else i can see and then i'm gonna go home because i'm cold too i'm cold i want to i want to hunker down like those burrowing owls some pronghorn out here in the desert they're way out there now but they were right on the side of the road and I'm kind of dangerously parked on the side of the road so I'm gonna head back to my car So when I can't photograph birds, at least I've got great places to go sightseeing. Holy smokes, look at this. <laughs> I love living in Idaho, man. I absolutely love it. I just got a raindrop right slap dab in my eye. What? Yeah, it's about to start raining, but check this place out, huh? Isn't this gorgeous? So guys, this is the Snake River that runs all the way through Idaho from east to west. 
goes all the way over to Grand Teton National Park. Shoot, I think it runs everywhere. 